rappers and producers. What happens when a rapper leases a beat and then a week later that beat gets sold exclusively? Explain it, Curtis. Okay. Rappers and producers, it doesn't matter what end of the spectrum you're on, this is important information that you both should know. What happens when a rapper leases a beat and then say a week later it gets sold exclusively? Does that mean you can't use the beat anymore? No. What that means is that you need to go back to your licensing terms and really see how long these leases are for or how long they're valid for. Most times producers will give you about a year of a lease. So basically what this means is this. You go to, you know, boobootabeast.com. You find a beat, right? And then that beat is 30 bucks to lease it and it says the duration of this lease is for a year. Okay? You get the beat, somebody buys that beat exclusively, it's okay. You are still entitled to your license terms. You know, that's something else too. You want to make sure the producer actually has leasing terms so that you're able to still utilize this song. Um, but once you look at the leasing terms and the license term says, look, you got this for a year, you still got it for a year. You know, I think a lot of rappers worry like, well, what happens when the other person buys it exclusively and then tries to rip me off of, uh, uh, you know, off of iTunes and Apple Music and Spotify. Now, keep in mind that artist does have the right. Most times they won't do it, but that artist who buys the exclusive has the right to kick your ass off of Apple Music and all the other sites because you are hindering their particular campaign. If you have a beat that, you know, or not a beat, but a song that you bought a beat for and it rivals theirs and it's going off, you do, you know, they do have the final say because now they're the exclusive owner of that. However, your leasing terms doesn't just apply to streaming websites. What it applies is to that you can still sell that within your physical copies. You can still sell it, you know, on your band camp. You can still sell it through whatever other mediums that have been allowed. Now, will it get flagged on YouTube? Yes, because somebody bought it exclusively. These are things you can't avoid. But at the end of the day, read those license terms. Don't just glance over it. Don't just look and say, well, I ain't about to sell 5,000 units, so I ain't got to even worry about that. No, look through these license terms and see if they actually have a duration of time. You are entitled to sell that for at least a year or whatever the duration of time is that. Once you know what the license terms are, you can rest assured that you're okay to sell it. You ain't got to delete it. You ain't got to take it off the internet. If anybody come aggressively at you like, yo, you got to take this off the internet, no. You do not. Because part of your license agreement is that. That's why sometimes, you know, I, I didn't understand it at first why people were asking me for contracts for their licenses. Now I understood it. Um, this year I started really kind of understanding why they want contracts for those because they want to make sure, look, buddy, if I take, if I get this, the, the track outs from this beat for a hundred bucks, Will I still be able to utilize this song if my album doesn't come out for four months and you still that exclusive tomorrow? So they're entitled to know this type of things because they're still using their hard-earned money. Yes, they're not paying as much as the exclusive, but their money is just as good as that person buying the exclusive. This is also another conversation that may rival should you even sell exclusives, but that's a whole nother video. Once again, this is another incarceration. Hey, doodle. If you need some more of this juice, please subscribe to the channel below. Be a part of the notification guy. Hey, hey. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters. I appreciate you so much. Patreon.com slash Curtis King. Rappers and producers, I've got many rewards for you. <laughs> Curtis King mattresses. That's what I feel like right now. I'm sorry. I keep doing that. I keep watching too much infomercials. Anyways, going back to the topic at hand. Rappers and producers, if you are exchanging beats and you're worried about, look, man, I don't know if I want to buy this beat because what if somebody get it exclusively? Or maybe you did buy your beat and somebody gets it exclusively. Have no fear. Look at your license agreement. You are still entitled to a duration of time. You are still entitled to that. Now, if it doesn't exist, you want to get on the phone with that producer and see if they're cool with it. Sometimes they'll even allow you to contact the, the exclusive buyer and kind of negotiate something sometimes. Because really one of the, the, uh, one of the things that is a benefit of an exclusive buyer is that they have that exclusivity and they're anonymous in the same process. They get to do their business and not be haggled by everybody else that bought a lease. So respect their privacy. 
And if it does happen, look at the license terms. If there's no license terms for the duration of a year, contact that man, see if you can work something out. Our lady, I'm sorry. In this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com. I can't listen to you. When I listen to you, it's a liability. Cause you be mentally killing my inner energy So I'm concealing my feelings before you injure me